Hello, this is Johan van Mielo with Mobility Minded and today we're going to take a look at the application Documents to Go working on the iPad. Uh, as you can see Documents to Go has not received an update yet uh, for the iPad so it's running into the iPhone and the iPod Touch uh, screen but you can with a two times button you actually get a larger uh, screen. So let's take a look what's possible. Uh, it's, it's pretty pretty amazing. As you can see, I have local files, have desktop files, attachments with emails, and Google Docs. So if you go to your settings, uh, you can kind of see what, what is possible. Uh, basically, uh, I have it connected to my desktop, which greatly uh, over my wireless network just synch synchronizes two-way. So you can add more desktops. I can add email accounts. Uh, if you click on it, a Gmail and a Microsoft Exchange, and you can also do your Google Docs. So, and if you add a new account, there you go. Uh, it's very easy. So, looking at it, I can click on my Google Docs, and it actually will synchronize right now. Looking at it, and you can see that all my documents for my Google Docs are there. If I take a look at my emails, the same thing. Here is this is my uh, my emails my from one of my accounts right here, and you can see real easy. I can kind of take a look at the attachments that are attached with certain um, let's take a look here if I can find one uh, not really but you know it, it's probably easy I, I I can just open up one of those text documents I guess there we go it's opening it up and it downloaded as you can see it's actually uh, just uh, my signature right there so um, looking at it, uh, it's really easy. Recent files, looking at my desktop files, uh, my documents to go files would be uh, just an, uh, that's a local folder that's on your desktop, which my documents to go folder, you can just drop everything in there or on your desktop again in general, we'll look at different ones. I have an image right here, there you go. It's just very easy. You can save it on the bottom again to a different locations. Yeah, copy it. Where do you want to copy it to? Or you want to email it to someone. So you can actually do a lot of things. Um, let's take a look at one of um, the documents right here. As you can see, uh, I can just tap on the screen to get a cursor, bring up the keyboard, and I can add some text and save it, and it will synchronize us back. We'll ask you, do you want to save it or do you not want to save it? So I said, this card changes. I just want to keep it the way it is. Same with Excel, as you can see, it's right here. I can tap on a box and hopefully, there you go. You can just do what you want to do. Text, hit done, and as you see, there it is. Uh, I, I'm going to cut it. I can copy it here. Paste. And there you go. So there are different ways of, of you know, I want to discard this as well. Um, this is different ways. It's very powerful to use. Um, so uh, let's take a look if I can show you a new document. There we go. I want to make a new document. I go MS Word. There you go. Uh, different fonts, etc. Different colors you can choose. So. There we go, that was actually the highlight. And let's turn that back off to nothing here. And we'll go back to back, black. So there's a lot of things you can do right here. Uh, however, it doesn't give you the full desktop experience, of course, in Word with adding an image, etc. Um, let's take a look here, alignment bigger screen, smaller screen. So no alignments, uh, or sorry, alignments are there, but I cannot import an, an image. I cannot, for example, uh, hold on, see if I can do that. Nope, I want to see if I can create a hyperlink or anything like that. So that does not work. So this is really documents to go, quick edit, quick view, very powerful, only $14.99 uh, in the App Store, and hopefully they will have uh, an update soon for the iPad and the HD version. Um, this was Johan Vermeulen. Uh, just shows you documents to go uh, on the iPad. And unfortunately, it's still an iPhone uh, enabled application where we get the lower resolution and you have to reduce it or enlarge it.
great. Thank you so much for watching and till next time.